What it is, everybody? It's your boy J to the A to the Y to the J A E. We are back on I Got Next, and we got the next artist in the building. We got Verbal Cosmic today, good people. Y'all want to hear this? <laughs> I'm holding on the cup when I'm feeling low. 1709, that's what we call flows. Like a bigger vision to television on television. Young nigga tell her. I'm from the projects, a placement of places with little options, growing up with less than a portion. So most niggas' prospects is either jail or a coffin. Still hope to get out of the hood, cause the hood seems hopeless. With little hope left when the state of minds are distorted. And kinda hard being conscious in this unconscious era of nonsense that really makes no sense. When the cops are also drug dealers and thieves, paying no mind to the poor people who plead justice. In this unjustified system, adjusted for the unjust people to lead the race of pyramid schemes that perpetuate greed, sin, deception distinct despite what you've been so, and now you're only free if your freedom's find it within, easy to feel lost, searching for sanctity in a sanctum of sin, seeing signs of synergy, visions faded or fleeing still, I just a man with a dream, like Martin Luther, instead of a king's kingdom reigning supreme, and those who lack meaning probably won't know what I mean, could never settle in this unsettling scene that seems so obscene, when some of your closest friends and turn into drug fiends, still I'm sleepless at night, cause nightmares haunt to my dreams, thoughts of a passionate MC who wielded a wheel so immaculate I'm destined to make it by any means. I'm holding on the cup when I'm feeling low. 1709, that's why we call flows like a bigger vision to television on television. Young nigga television. And I know it's sort of scary when your mental care is an addiction To formulate addiction that could delegate addictionary Self-taught but never stationed at school due to the very thought You could barely afford half of the stationary And man the story gotta be told, this mandatory Some niggas hate to say but I'm the one and they're not in my lane Man this word Tory, maybe I'm too complex like a two-story complex In context, nigga this true story A real talk, I'd rather be real lonely than fake causing for people who'd never do shit for me And man this refugee G's been killing them softly Spit like a lyrical deuce deuce When I spew this verbal abuse With words that I use Infusing my muse and made music When I find solace in expressing my views About oppression and how it's suppressing the hurt It's a verbal cosmic So pay homage to the greats and pay your dues Cause in due time when you make it The struggle is beautiful and Stand for the greater good Whether you mistaken or misunderstood It's all a part of God's plan They could never understand I'm holding on a cup when I'm feeling low 1709, that's why we call flows Like a bigger vision to television On television, young nigga television oh, Young nigga television Young one television took the time to listen to the song it's self-explanatory in the sense that it speaks about a kid that's from the projects you know where shit ain't easy yeah. at all um it's hard growing up in the projects we, we have a lot of difficulties and that's exactly what the song is about mm -hmm. like my personal experiences in the projects or in the hood per se or in the cars as you might say <laughs> so yeah so that's what it's about it's about my point of view on how i felt at the time loving in the projects all right so I, I i i get a lot of like struggle in the song like, yeah. like i can i can feel the heart like that you were going through something like um is it something to do with COVID 19. <laughs> <laughs> well at the time it's like nah nah not at all <laughs> um now i mean the song is i was being creative if i should say that um uh, quite frankly, the time I wrote the song, mm -hmm. I was in, in, in a negative place mentally. Um, I was actually very inspired. I just, it was the closest thing for me to speak about at mm -hmm. the moment because 
it's things that I've seen countless times, like growing up as a child, um, as an adolescent. So it's things that's always been there. So it's something that's easy for me to feed off of and speak about. So I was trying to be as lyrical as possible and convey a message that is tangible, like people that can relate to it, like people that are from where I'm from, in a sense, or anyone, any ghetto, any other type of thing. I, I, I must say, this guy sounds very intellectual, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you read books or what, but it sounds, it sounds like you, you've got a lot of knowledge, you do a lot of your research, and um, like I said, like I feel the, the pain in the music, like in the music, you know? Yeah. And like, I really like that. I really like to hear something that's like, you know, that's gonna touch me as well. So, um, you know, moving on, let's not, you know, Stop crying, <laughs> but anyway, um, verbal cosmic that's a very interesting name. Like, just one of the first things that caught my attention with you. Like, where does that come from? And, like, yeah, where, like, how did it come about? Um, so okay, long story short, when I was young, I couldn't rap, like, I was horrible. So, <laughs> I met a guy, he was, he was a good rapper, like. To my mind, at the time, being young, he was a dope rapper. Looking mm -hmm. back now, I was just inspired by the fact that, you know, he was putting some words together yeah. and something I like. So he, I think he calls himself something cosmic, you see. Yeah. And as I was growing up, all his head, this thing in my head, like in my head, I convinced myself that that nigga's name was Verbal Cosmic. Oh. And <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want that to be my name one day. Like, um, when, when it was stuck in my head, I thought to myself, like, I want to be the kind of person that when I speak or when I rap, I can take your mind out of this world. So uh -huh. that's where the word verbal cause me comes in. Like every time I rap on someone to feel like I took you out of, you know, like your comfort zone. Like oh, yeah, maybe yeah. If, if you're into simple lyrics or something like that, I took you out of that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I made you think deep into things or I made you, you know, I, I made you do some sort of research type mm -hmm. of thing, you see. So yeah, that's, that's like the whole aim behind it all is to make someone think. Like even when you, when you think of the artist verbal cause me, it, it makes you, it's like a conscious feeling yeah. simultaneously at the same time you feel like, shit, verbal cosmic, what do you mean by verbal cosmic? Yeah, yeah, you get out of saying, and then when you hear me rap, I want you to you get understand. the same impression, and then you'll be like, that's why he yeah. calls himself verbal cosmic. Yeah. yeah. Now, nah, man, like that's, I won't lie, like that, like I like, I like to hear a story, like whenever I meet an artist or whenever I interview someone, I like to, like, even when I'm listening to music, yeah, sure. I feel like you have a lot of storytelling and I want to hear more, I still want to hear more, you know, and I see you down that path and yeah, um, how did, how did, what, what, like how did you become a rapper, like what made you, like who inspired, do you have a certain inspiration that you had, or like, like, like besides, I mean that guy, yeah. I mean in the industry right now we have, I'm sure you've got like somebody that you feel like, okay, no, this is the greatest rap. Oh, this is this yeah. is who I want to be like. As yeah, much as yeah. yes, you moved from the guy that inspired you. Yeah. Um, but like like now, where you are right now, like. Yeah, like uh, what made me want to become a rapper? Man? Uh, I feel like it's with all the struggles I've been through my life. Um, it's the one thing. Uh, let's say music, not just rapping. But music has always made sense to me. Um, and rapping, in a sense, it will be the thing that I gravitated towards the most, like the easiest. It was easy for me to gravitate towards that. And obviously, like people like Eminem, uh, Lupe Fiasco, like there's a number of people that I listened to, and I was like, you know what? That's, that's the kind of people. When I was young, you know, when you're young, you, it was easy for you to be like, okay, that's the best. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. the greatest, whatever, whatever. And as you grow up, you realize that, shit, bro, there's so much more to the I'm elements of a year, man. Yeah. There's so many aspects to it and so many dynamics to it. So as I started learning that, I figured, shit, I can't be calling people like, you know, um, you the best or you the greatest, because nigga, I want to be the greatest one day yeah, as well. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> so I just... There's a lot of people that inspire me, like I said, like your Lupe's, um, Lupe Fiasco, Eminem, uh, Crooked Eye, King, King Lost. Lost. Like there's a number of them. Mm -hmm. I, these people I listen to, not to say that they're the best, but because I can easily relate to them and they're at a level that I want to reach yes. or surpass sometime. Yeah. So 
I look at it like that from that point of view. So yeah, Eminem, Lupe Fiasco, there's a number of them, and there's so many top NCs out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Um, I just want to understand, like, I know, I know you, you're from the West Side. Like, are you born in, like, Bread, Joburg, Johannesburg, Florida, or like, do you come from somewhere before you came to the West Side? Yeah, that's actually quite a, a, a deep and long story. Um, I wasn't born here actually. Um, I was born during a time where there was something that they call genocide. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you if you heard yeah, of the yeah. country called Rwanda. Yeah. yeah. So my mom is from there. My father was a Catholic father, uh, whose family was like a mixed family type of thing. So yeah, they met and when the whole genocide happened and stuff, so my mom decided to leave. So she had to leave because her father sent people like uh, his family like overseas and stuff because you know. They were quite wealthy in a sense so he's like he's like my mom left because she wanted to be with my father in a mm -hmm. sense you see and her father didn't really approve of it because my father was a catholic father so mm -hmm. him marrying her would mean he loses his uh like his spot like it's a whole long story things that i'm still figuring out myself so yeah but i grew up in Jersey most of my life i've stayed in cape town for like a few months but most of my life I've stayed Joker, in the West, yeah, Joker, 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 Joker. Joker. Nah, nah. I like that, I like that. There's more I want to hear, like I said, from what I've heard now, I really want to hear more. And um, right now we are at a time where like, it's not easy to get around. Are you, like, well, how do you feel about COVID-19? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's like, you know what, I feel like it's real. Uh, sure. outside of everything that you might have conspiracies and all that but the fact to me is that it is real mm -hmm. and it's as real as you make it out to be yourself uh but i would say the best thing to do is to you know take the safety precautions yeah. and keep yourself safe just not for yourself but for the benefit of let's say your family yeah. you get what i'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah that's what i think i so I, I just want to know, like, where can people find you on social platforms? Um, um social platforms. Okay, I just, I, I recently started using Instagram. So you can get me on Instagram at Verbal Cosmic, V-E-R-B-A-L-C-O-Z underscore M-I-C, Verbal Cosmic. You can get me there. Uh, that's Instagram. Or you can just get me on WhatsApp, you know, 064. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we don't have something. I just Google Verbal Cosmic. You know, yeah, we, Google me too, yeah, dog. Got a song on YouTube. Cosmic and yeah, you know, and once again, you are on I Got Next. And I'm your boy, J. Say to the Y, the J, E, and we signing out. Yeah.